Hey everybody, my name is Zach at Yaz and welcome to another Facebook tutorial. So today what I want to show you is how to make a video for your Facebook ads. Now video is extremely important because as you're scrolling through Facebook, what you'll find is that if you stop on a video, it's actually going to start automatically playing. What this means is that you will be able to create something that catches somebody's eye more than a still image, uh, just the way our brains work. We see something moving. Whether or not we're actually gonna stay to watch the whole thing, it's gonna grab our attention for that quick second. So even if you don't have gear to be able to actually make videos, all you really need is just a few pictures. Now, of course, this is going to be easier to do if you are a product-based business and you can show off like, different brands of shoes or food or something is of course harder if you're a service-based business like we are, but using the same techniques, um, you can tell a story visually with images in like a slideshow, and I'm going to show you how Facebook lets you do that. All right, so to get started, I am in my, I created a new account so I can make more tutorials for this. It's called Yaz Test. I thought it was kind of clever. Um, so in my campaigns, I'm going to start by creating an ad. Um, now, as soon as you start creating an ad, you will be met with like these different, I guess, campaign objectives. Generally, what we wanna go for is some sort of conversion where someone sees your video, clicks on a button, and then goes through to like fill out a contact form or make a purchase. Um, in some cases, especially at the beginning of making an ad, it can be useful to go with something like engagement, because as you're scrolling through, if you see a video that has no likes and no comments, you're actually less likely to stop and interact with it than if you see one that has a bunch of different uh, engagement or reactions to it. So sometimes, I'm not gonna go into detail on this today, but sometimes it's a good idea to start a campaign getting engagement so that by the time you're looking for conversions, it already looks to someone seeing your ad for the first time, like this is something a lot of other, there's buzz about it. If everybody's talking about it, they wanna get in on it as well. So I will click continue, give it a second to load. Of course, you would come in and name your campaign. We'll go with like video campaign, keep it simple. Um, that should be enough for now for the campaign. Next is, of course, your ad settings. Um, now, again, I'm not gonna spend too much time on this today, but ad settings is where you wanna make your changes to your daily budget and your audiences. This is also where you would use the saved audience. If you haven't seen my video on how to make these sorts of custom audiences, I'll try to include a link here somewhere, so definitely jump over to that one because this is really, really important um, to do. So once you've finished with that, so now you get to this page where you can actually get down to creating your ad. So you can also have your ad showing up on Instagram if you do have an Instagram account. I haven't made an Instagram account for this test business, so I'm just gonna keep it to Facebook for now. Of course, you wanna have your ad name. Generally, when it comes to naming ads, I like to give it a name and then like a, a month, a year, because what I have found is that over time when I start coming back, it's really hard to keep track of which ads are recent. And if you're ever looking to hire like a company like mine, it can be difficult to also go in there and figure out what you want us to work on if something is really, really old or which ones are new. I've seen some fairly messy <laughs> setups. Um, now under ad setup, so this is actually something when I was going through this and practicing myself, I had to contact Facebook because I hadn't seen this before and by default, it only wants to give me the option to use an existing post. So it, with this setting, I don't have the option to create an, a, a video and I was like, uh oh, is my uh, test camp is my test account too new, is that why? But I figured out if you click this drop down, you just wanna change this to create ad. So for some reason, Facebook is wanting you to like use this to boost posts. Um, I don't know what their actual reasoning is. I don't really agree with boosting posts. It's kinda of just, a, I mean, you can use targeting with boosts, but it kinda of just sends out whatever random thing you've posted out to a bunch of people, but usually boosted posts don't really have a good like call to action. Like I don't really care if you have a sale going on, if there's nothing in there that makes me wanna actually click through to do something about it. So once I've selected create ad here, I have the option under ad creative to create a video. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on that. 
And when I get in here over on the left, it's going to show me some images that I already have in my account. In this case, to save some time, I just grabbed some of these stock images off Unsplash. Unsplash is a free stock photo website, so great place if you need some kind of filler information. Um, although, of course, for this sort of ad, I wouldn't recommend just using images. You wanna have a little bit more on there so they know what you're doing. Again, if you're a product-based business, the product might be enough, but if you're a service-based business, it needs to tell a little bit more of a story. Because if I'm, um, like if I build websites, I could include pictures of websites, but I might need a bit of an explanation as to what you're looking at. Like, are these websites I've built? Is this what I can do for you? It, it is a little bit more difficult for service-based businesses. Now, if you don't already have your images up here, you can, of course, come over here to upload. Um, and now, at the top here, you can see that there's different kinds of templates. Um, flexible and vertical templates are going to be fine for Facebook, but if you also want to include it like Instagram, uh, I think Instagram has been making some changes that they can now have a few different shapes other than just square, but for now I think square is still the best thing to do. Um, so then you can scroll through and see these kind of different templates that you can use, and they'll each tell you how many different pictures you can use. So, you know, something as simple as just a slideshow that just goes from image to image. Um, you can swipe from image to image. It, it's just kind of different types of transitions, so just pick whichever one looks interesting to you. Um, some of them like contactless delivery and pickup, which probably won't be here forever. It just has a single image, so we'll avoid that one. So for now, let's go to swipe. I liked the look of that one. Oh, and before it lets me click on that, I actually have to choose some images. And then go to edit. Is it freezing up for me? Nope. I did have some trouble when I was practicing with some of these things freezing up on me, so I might have to reload a few times. And if you're in here doing this, um, it was specifically when I went to watch my video, it just froze up the whole thing and I had to refresh. It's not a really big deal. I think it saves most of what you've done either way. Um, but so what it's going to do automatically is create what's called scenes here, and each image is going to have a scene. You can drag and drop them in a different order. In my case, because two of these images have a yellow background, I don't want them back to back. Just get a little more variation, so that's a good order. Um, under settings here, you can see that there are scene transitions, so it can either be none, where it just transitions however you saw it, or fade. Um, it might make it a little bit more smooth. Just choose whichever one looks best for what you are working with. And the last piece, or, sorry, I guess two more pieces. They've got seconds per scene, so you can choose for each of the scenes how long do you want that image to show. If you have quite a few images and they don't really need to be focused on, like if I was just showing you a bunch of these different, if it was all like watches, they're not gonna get much benefit looking at each one for five seconds. So you wanna speed those ones up. If you're a service-based business and you need it to tell a little bit more of a story, maybe slow that down to like two seconds or three seconds. I mean, in general, people are not going to spend much time on your videos or it, unless you, they see something in there that you, they actually want. So the shorter you can keep this, like right now this is set to like 12 seconds, people probably wouldn't spend 12 seconds looking at my four images. So I'd wanna keep it, like eight seconds is probably fine in this case. And then they've got these stickers, which is pretty cool. I don't know how useful a lot of them will be. If you have like specific sales going on, you can include stickers for that. The one I think I like to use the most, is under feature to general? Yeah, support local. Uh, support local is of course really big right now. If you are selling in your local area, you wanna throw one of these in. So in this example, let's choose this one. You can choose where in the image it's going to show and how big it is. Maybe put it there. No, that looks terrible. Keep it in the top right. And once you are done that, you can go ahead and click create video. You probably can usually watch this as a preview. I'm not going to do that because I had some freezing yesterday and I don't know why, but so I'll just create the video says it'll take between 30 seconds and two minutes. It looks like it's going pretty fast. In the meantime, the next two most important steps are your primary text. So um, depending on what your video is saying or showing, you wanna give people context so they can, your image will catch their eye and then they'll look up and be like, oh, this is about um, a sale on cupcakes or you know something, whatever it is that you're working on. 
And it's always important as well, anytime Facebook gives you options of things, so in this case it's the primary text, use all of the options. What Facebook is going to do is test out all of your different primary text on a bunch of different people and they're going to start showing the one that gets the best reaction the most. So it's just a nice way for you to kind of A-B test your different text so that you're not having to try to guess what people want to read. Facebook's going to figure that out for you. And then your call to action button, of course, is really important as well. Um, I, I do find this a little bit limited, like get quote, learn more. I find generally learn more is the one that gets used the most because it's the most widely applicable. If you're actually running e-commerce shop now, obviously it makes a little bit more sense. So I will click learn more. So at this point, I think the video is finished. Of course, there's a nice little error over here. That's always an error occurred. Well, lovely. Okay, so it usually should work. I'm not sure if this is something that I did wrong or if this is something that Facebook is still having some trouble with. I'll look back at that in a second. Um, tracking, if you're just doing this for your own business, tracking probably isn't that important. But let's say you were running a bunch of different ad campaigns all going to the same page. If you add what's called URL parameters, you can actually look and say that like 30 hits came from this URL link and then you'll know because of what you set here that it was from this ad. Just another way for you to be able to figure out what's the most effective if you're doing lots of different stuff. So I'm going to quickly pause the video, jump back into that editing screen and see if I can get this to show up as not an error. Okay, so it looks like once I deleted the preview of my video, it stopped showing this error. Can I actually watch it? I can actually watch it. So boom, here's a video that I made over on the right here. You know, super straightforward. It, you can tell right now that without the sort of primary text um, shop our products today, like the, the video on its own really wasn't telling a story, but when I add shop our products today, it helps people understand, yes, they are actually selling. This video is showing products that they're selling. Um, and it looks like I also missed this. So make sure you are filling in your URL where you want people to land. This could be a whole other video to describe, but um, I generally recommend against sending people straight to your homepage. Um, when you're making an ad that you want people to convert for, it's really important that whatever they're seeing in the ad, so if I'm looking right here and I see shop our products today, and then I go and land on a home page, if it's not like an immediate next step, if it's not a shop in front of me where I can find these products, I'm probably going to leave because no one wants to get halfway through this process and get like stranded on a home page, not really knowing where to go. Even if it seems extremely obvious that there's a shop button up there, don't ever, don't ever make people think because if you're making people think, they're just gonna leave. Just make it thoughtless to go through this entire process. Um, so that's basically all I have here for today. Make sure you hit publish when you're done to get it going. You can set dates where you want it to run, all of that. Always come back and check in on your ads to see how they're doing, if Facebook has any recommendations, that sort of thing. If you like this and you wanna see more like it, please like, comment, and subscribe. Um, I've noticed of all my videos, the last Facebook tutorial I did, did way better. So if this is the sort of thing that you guys wanna be seeing from me, let me know and I will do a lot more for it. Thank you so much for your time today and I will talk to you in the next one. Bye-bye.